Hey guys, so we're about to put up the ABC tent on our back patio. Come along and I'll show you how. So here is the tent and it comes in this bag. You can get it on Amazon. I will leave the link below. And we also have sandbags to hold it down so that it will not get blown away with a gust of wind. So let's get started. So, I thought this was a really good one to recommend to you guys. So it's a 13 by 13 canopy. And like I said, I'll leave the link below in the description box below this video. And you can go to Amazon and get it. We got it off of Amazon, so you can go to Amazon and get it yourself. And we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'll show you the parts list first. So we have the gazebo frame, the small canopy, big canopy, mosquito netting, the ring. We have the stakes to put into the ground. That's another type of stake. We have rope, rope, and a bag. To set up the canopy, we're going to open the canopy frame. So we're going to take all the accessories out and then we're going to just do the leg portion. We're going to put that up first. This tent is heavy and there's a few steps that goes along to it. So you want between two and four people to help set it up. So we're going to walk it out. Time to attach part number B, the small canopy. And that is right here on step two. Hope you can see that. Attaching the small canopy top. This is the small canopy top. And on the edge, are, there's four corners. So at the edge of each corner is a little pocket and you're gonna slip this onto this. So this corner, this little pocket, is going to go right on here. And you're going to do that on each corner. And if the cloth doesn't seem like it wants to fit, nothing's wrong. You just have to push the tent in to adjust for fitting. push it in and pull it out probably about two times two or three times because I couldn't get it centered but it finally worked so you may really have to stretch it make sure you don't puncture the netting but you have to stretch it to get it centered at the top and all four corners So now we're going to put the big canopy top on and we have to have these little beams up. And sometimes if your tops are not agreeing or not stretching on, you have to walk it out a little bit or either if you have it out too far, you might have to walk it in a little bit for the tops to stretch and cover what they need to cover. So we had to walk it out a little further if you can see about how far it's walked out in order for these little metal rods to stand up straighter. So now we are going to do C, big canopy. 
And then that's number three. Step three, attaching the large canopy top. So this hole, there's a hole, it has to go over the center. So you have to line your corner pieces up. This is the little pocket for the corner piece. There's four corner pieces that go on top of these rods. So put this corner on top of the, each rod. And you want to put, if you have these tails, you want to make sure you put it over the rod. And there is a band, a little loop that you put on top of the rod before you put that little corner on. Hope you can see that, but this little loop, elastic loop, goes on top of the rod before you put it in this little pocket corner. Sorry about all the background noise. And then now we're going to tie the small canopy to the large canopy. And you want to do that on all corners. Slip it over the top. Make sure the corner piece goes on the rod. And then And then the ties are tied together from the big canopy to the small canopy. So there are neighbors behind us working in their backyard too, if you hear some extra noise. So now it's ready to be walked completely out and then we're gonna push the center up and lock it in. So we have it all spread out and the top is popped up. Now we're going to raise all corners up. And while you're on the inside about to, before you push these corners up, go ahead and put the Velcro on the rods. and do it on all four corners. Now, locking in the frame. This is what I was pushing up on in the middle. This silver rod was hanging down, dangling, and then I had to push this up to meet this. This inserts right in the middle there. So I pushed it up and it clicked in. And then when you get ready to take it down, this red lever, pops it out. To release it, it comes out like that. You just pull the red lever down and it comes down. Now to adjust the canopy height and secure the canopy in place. We're gonna raise up the poles on the corners and you gotta put your foot down there. Gotta press that in and just raise it up. Until it clicks. Okay. Then we have to do each one the same. Then we have to do each one the same way. And 
there are several heights that you can raise it to. Okay. So these hooks for the little curtains can go in here. So the ends of our poles is on concrete because we put it on the patio. You can either have holes drilled in your concrete or you can just use weight bags. And we have sand in these bags, super, super heavy. And they just weight each corner of the tent. And I'll show you how to put that on in a little bit. And so now it is up, but we have to put the screens in. So there are four ropes and my husband has one and he's tying it that it's tying it there to anchor it there so there's one rope for that side another rope for that side and another rope for that side so he's going to take the rope and run it through these loops this is what you're going to hang the, hang the screen on and this is what you're going to hang the netting with And then it gets tied also to this corner. I don't know how to do a slip knot, but if you do, that's great. And you can knot it, tie it any way you want to. And I'm going to tie the next rope up. So the tighter that you get the strings tied at the corners, the better your netting will hang. It won't be droopy. So now we're going to put up the netting and I'll show you how to do that. So these are the rings that it was speaking of. There's 32 of those. And we are going to... Yeah, they were left on. We had to put them on last time, I believe. But So now we just unzip it and put them up. So you want to make sure that the netting goes behind the metal rods. That way it's not, you know, seen real easily and it looks better. And you want the zipper to be down the middle on each side. So you're starting each piece of netting on the middle of each side. And it goes around the rope. And when you get to the corner, it goes around in the back as well. So I've started putting the sandbags, the weights around the pole. I'll show you how I do it. Here it is, and it has three loops, and we're just going, they have Velcro on them, so we're just going to Velcro it around the pole really snug. And it's on really good. I also make sure that the black bag, that the weight is sitting on this actual pole foot, so it's kind of doubly protected. So guys, it is very important to anchor your tent properly. We had a windstorm that came through and tossed our tent, even with the sandbags on. And each one of those sandbags, I could barely move just one by myself. So they're very heavy. But what will happen is a wind, a gust of wind will come, a strong wind and toss your tent. And you want to have these strings, you want those tied to your tent and anchored into the ground as well as the sandbags. So it is raining this morning, but I want to come out and show y'all this. This is how we have it anchored. So I'm standing at the very front of the tent, right corner, and it is anchored here and at the base, basically, of the tent at the top. So we have it tied here, and then it loops out to here, loops back, and then we have it tied 
and it's anchored into the ground with metal hooks. So it's like that on three corners. That's the other one. Also on the other one, on the third one, and on the side where we have no grass, where it's cement and we couldn't put a stake in the grass. So we have it coming from this corner down past our unit and we have it tied to a cinder block concrete cinder block the first two storms we had when we didn't have it anchored down it got tossed twice but since then we've had several storms and we've had it anchored down and the sandbags on the tent didn't go anywhere So this is the backyard after the tent is up and the pool is up. Y'all, it's just a peaceful oasis. So I just wanted to give you a few backyard design tips or ideas for your backyard. You can put lighting back there with Dollar Tree lights and arrange your furniture nicely on your patio or your deck. You can even get one of these swimming pools and I will put the tent, I will put the link to that on Amazon below and also this Intex swimming pool I'll put the link below as well it is a wonderful pool for hours and hours of relaxation and fun there are also links to other videos on pool maintenance and as well as accessories for the tent so check all the information down below in the description box check out all the other videos on Tracy's place you guys have a blessed day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.